Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about other things also and feelings. Remix. <laughs> All right, he's Jarvis, and I'm Jarvis. You missed, no, that's not the bit I was doing. And no, I'm I'll just, not, it's all me today. I won't be anything. <laughs> he's in this. You nameless fellow is here as well. <laughs> Sweet bastard. I was thinking the other day what I want you to do when I am inevitably killed. <laughs> well, like how we want to maintain the podcast after right. I am just run over by a semi truck. Or well, we have uh, hours and hours and hours of you speaking so we can generate an AI voice clone. Honestly, give it a swing. We do it like old days where you are zooming in, but mm. like you have a bad connection. So you're oh. like going at like a really. That's a great idea. Like bad frame rate. And then we're using a voice clone and then putting a filter over it. And sometimes I have a mustache. And so it's like we can't in, in an afro and Jordan, we're like, hmm, Jordan's always got bad service and we can't really make out what he's saying, but <laughs> seems like he's alive. <laughs> the one thing that we can gather from this is that he's still around. It's like when they talk to Lassie and it's like, there's a dog, <laughs> there's a boy down the well. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just me going like, that. It doesn't. And it's like, so, so true, dude. dude hell <laughs> so yeah, man. honestly, um, honestly spitting and then cut back to the guest it's one of like rogan's fucking cronies <laughs> <laughs> like duncan trussell or something yeah the like it like glitches out like a vtuber and you like see <laughs> another person <laughs> you know like my eye tracking's all wrong yeah, and i'm doing like, like this when like uh, a vtuber's technology glitches out and all of the vtuber fans are faced to reconcile <laughs> with the fact that their favorite character is just a man and they're just in like, an they office stuck at, like this yeah. pose for a while they're off pissing around <laughs> Yeah, and then it it blinks out, and it's just like a dude with like a Dorito halfway in his mouth, yes, and he's so like, "No, he <laughs> how did he do that?" A full green screen morph suit for no reason. Yeah, just to, just for himself. I kind of want to do that. V tubing. Yeah, I, I think uh, it'd be fun. I think I. I think it's. Cool. I love what we do. I think it's very um, comforting to have sort of our creative outlets just to be the you being who you are in different settings thing mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. we do a podcast for us we do videos <laughs> i'm it, hashtag i'm him kind mm -hmm, of thing mm -hmm. i there's a little part of me that really wants to find a an avenue that's just for like weird high concept shit yeah that doesn't have to account for my personal branding or or uh, going on my channels or like accounting for an audience that might not be interested in it so to just do like one of those things is streaming. Like we have a lot of streamer friends. Right? Yeah. And so often like, just be like, I'm with Doug and we're eating fast food. As yeah. much fast food as we can eat right. before the cops stop us or we die. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, wow, I, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How I come know. that's what you're doing? I've, I've felt that uh, recently because I've been like, why can't I just be a Pokemon Go YouTuber right yeah. now? I, um, you're not happy with doing anything else. No, is... no. I just, it's, it's what I need. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, well, how are you? How are you doing, uh, dude? I'm all right. I'm getting. I think I'm getting spider bites. <laughs> what? I think there's a damn spider biting me in my room. I don't have any Did powers. Any powers? Look, oh, it sucks, fuck, man. I just got. It just made me cute. <laughs> you know how um. Y you know how there was that uh saying or that um urban legend about how you eat spiders in your sleep. Yeah, yeah. And then someone looked into it. Uh, it and it's. It has no source. <laughs> like, um, okay. there's like a Snopes article that um, that that says that there's this like Norwegian article by this woman um, that talks about it, and it kind of spun out from there, and a bunch of people were like citing it without like looking into it. But then that woman's name is an anagram for "this is a huge troll." Fuck, that's so <laughs> sick. Yeah, it's I actually, missed lying. Yeah, I missed the past wild. where you could just like say. I've probably talked about it on the show before. If not, it's crazy. I legitimately, for like, till I was like seven or eight years old, thought Elijah Wood was telekinetic. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't <Okay>. know. <laughs> <laughs> I think a kid in my class said something related to it. And then I was, you know, a, a wise and skeptic, of course. And right. I was like, I, are you sure? Yeah. I do believe in them, of course. <laughs> but then, like, uh, we, we played the. Uh, Return of the King GameCube game. Bang. Oh, right. Shout out. Shout Go out. check out these movies, guys. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> you got to see these things. Crazy. Hobbit's even better. Uh, but there is a little moment in the behind the scenes of that game where they're just, you know, they're on set and they're saying just, 
obligatory press stuff real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, the devs basically run in and going like, Elijah, Vigo, could you say the game is something about it? And it's like, I I can't, I'm gonna, if I end this game, I kill myself. You know, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything Dude, that comes I need mind. the game to live. <laughs> <laughs> I need to breathe. The same as dialysis for me. <laughs> and they walk in and ask Elijah Wood about it. And he's in his little like, uh, the background is the poster or whatever. And he's just like, right. yeah, um, sometimes I'll just find myself, uh, you know, uh, picking up the controller and just going through the game. I remember that phrasing. It's so strange. Going through the game. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, my child brain, my, like, six or seven-year-old child brain was like, ah, picking up with his mind. Mm. <laughs> right. Of course. I he love, just picks the game up I with I love it as you, like, are growing up and, and, and beginning to challenge the powers that be. You're like, all right, Santa, not real. Uh, Insane. East, Easter Bunny, out. Absurd. How could that be? And then you're like, Elijah Wood's powers. <laughs> is, is that more like hmm. the Tooth Fairy where it's real? Yeah, right, because the Tooth Fairy is real and so are Elijah Wood's powers, but the Easter Bunny is fake and Santa's fake. Of course, and then you become elitist about it when any other kid still right. believes it. Um, <laughs> I bet you still believe in the Tooth Fairy. Wow. Because it's real. As you should, if you heard um, the good news. <laughs> but you don't believe in Elijah Wood's powers? <laughs> I, mean, I really was. Someone just told me it. And I, I love that. Like, oh, and not to be, you know, like to boomer about it, but we didn't have any avenue for looking that up at all. I sometimes feel a little too skeptical and it's affected my p personal relationships because, uh, I mean, I, I've got a handle on it now, but sometimes people like our good friends will tell me things and I'll go, that's not real. <laughs> and, and I'll... <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> I feel so mean. And, and then in my head I go... No way. And then I'll like look it up. <laughs> and I'll look it up and I'll go, that's what I thought. Yeah. And then and then it w the, the way that I've changed as a person is I don't have to correct somebody. But like I'll go, yeah, no, it's fake, but I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> I, did, I need to free myself. They believe it too strongly. I need to look it up when we're not standing together so that yeah. you can't see my face creak in like disbelief. Yeah, I had a... Um, <laughs> I was dating someone once where they got mad Respect at me for you. looking thing. Oh yeah, fucking <laughs> freaking freaking <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. How do you do? How do you do yeah, that? Yeah, I was dating somebody. Could I once. do the same? <laughs> um, uh, I'll never tell I my would, secrets. I would love to find someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, top no, of the seriously, morning. man. If you can fucking find someone for me, that'd be so sick. <laughs> Madam, would you like a Reddit gold? <laughs> Uh, we, your our love would get an updoot from yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you in that dress. That's an upvote right there. Yeah. Have you seen the dress? Remember that. Remember the dress. Amazing, what color mate. is it? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, so what color mace. was it? I can't remember. A um, full tube of mace just going into <laughs> my, my mouth. Never stops. <laughs> but um, I, I was once dating someone. And uh, they got mad at me for Googling whether or not dinosaurs can pee. <laughs> can right now. <laughs> yeah, currently. Can they currently pee? Because uh, uh, it was like we were like driving past like um, we were on the highway going somewhere. And, you know, there's like big like sometimes like when you're on the highway, there's tons of like um, eye candy from the the highway it'll be like come to this tourist stop and then it'll sure? be like a big sign or a big drawing or in this case a large dinosaur statue yes a statue i don't even know what it was made uh, of yeah uh be uh, uh, uh trojan horse style. yeah yeah, it, yeah it's it, usually like a hollow they have a lot in nevada as well like yeah a big it's like hollow. made of plaster or something yeah. probably it's usually from like the 60s yeah it gets like, one eye is deteriorated they look cool as hell and um they they were like, do dinosaurs pee? And I was like, I I assume so. Do birds pee? Do reptiles in general? I know it's like, what does pee even mean? Whoa. But anyway, I googled it, and uh, th then that became a whole argument because um, because <laughs> I always have to know the answers to things, and I was like, but I just like learning. Well, they didn't have a position. No, they, 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 they didn't have a position. It was more about the fact that I always need to like learn. If there's a question, I like want to know the answer. And I think yeah, it, was like, yeah. it was like, you know, when you're like, you start to like not like someone. And so like every little thing they do is sure. like, annoying. So it was like it blew up out of nothing because I, um, 
I like to I like to find out things. It's such a funny thing to even have to frame as a They were like, you always have to do this. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You have the foundation of humanity. <laughs> like curiosity that makes you write things down and learn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I hell? just like to know. I like to, when something is interesting to you, you check it. I hate, I hate being wrong. I get such a deep embarrassment from like um, saying something incorrectly. And so I from a very young age have always like strive to like i like try not to speak on something unless i'm really sure of it and and as a result i but i want to talk i want to say things I, but I, I so i need to learn in order to be able to speak you know from a, a place of authority um maybe that's, that's understandable i think it's an adhd thing as well I, mm -hmm. I, I feel that like desire to be informed but also the rejection if i'm way off yeah exactly something changed i don't know when I was talking to my site yesterday, actually, and I was trying to describe, like, the while I was away, like, what changed in my isolation, like, spending so much time with myself, what, what was different about it. And I just became very, very comfortable is not the right word, but kind of um, some things I really, really cared about because I was the only witness to those things. I had this weird ego death with, with some traits, like case in point being the guilt of depression like the guilt mm. of being low and ineffectual just went away completely it's still mostly gone like if i get depressed as i often do a little more than i'd like then i that sensation of like the frustration you get with yourself like oh i'm just useless or i just can't get stuff done the thought is still there but i can dismiss it very quickly mm -hmm. the first thing that go was the um the, the like the pride around wanting to be right and being embarrassed if I get it wrong. And now being back, I can feel it coming back. Mm. It's really weird. It, the only one I could think of, I actually got like, it's never things worth being informed about mm -hmm. because if you are obviously informed about a thing, like it's, it's the, hey, what's my birthday? Then there's no discussion to be had. And if someone's really adamant about it, you're like, that's right. fine. There's like yeah, I, this yeah. is not a victory. No, I it's need. not like a. It's never a meaning. It's always trivial. It's always going to be small through medium. I got in the only almost argument. There's two I've almost gotten in recently. One uh, is with a friend of ours. Great, in, enjoyed spending time with them certainly, but we had this this kind of one moment of friction because they so adamantly were sure that sure of the episode order of the first season of black mirror <laughs> which i for all i'll make fun of that show i have re realized recently i'm probably a super fan because yeah, i know yeah. too much about it right right dog <laughs> the national anthem <laughs> i'm daniel Kalir and i got a bike watch me go and I can't stop looking at videos from the past. <laughs> Those are the three episodes in that order. Oh, yeah. Let them know. <laughs> Go on. And then I had like a weird, not even like argument, but me, me, and, uh, me and Katie got like one of the only debates we've ever had, which was um, whether or not you could f find a uh, local co-op pool game <laughs> on iPhone. On the app store, <laughs> like a turn-based <laughs> pass it back and forth, and it was like just fundamentally, just I, I just couldn't communicate why that definitely would be. <laughs> Wait, well, and that I did. What was your position? Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I yeah, if that's what I. Yeah, I would assume there would be something like that. That was one where I think it was, you know, when it's like. 30% a bit and it's kind of just for the escalation <laughs> and it goes up and down it's like right. now we're only joking obviously yeah, 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 and yeah. now we're semi-joking but I that's not one I did look up because it did scratch into the like no oh, come on yeah, <laughs> come yeah, on yeah. if I look this up you will <laughs> no yeah if you look it up then it's like I told you <laughs> of course I'm the winner I don't know she's much much more reasonable than I. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But I, I hundred percent get it. I mean, I think you, I'm sure if I like, if you list, if you did like the Pokemon rap, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's not in first generation. <laughs> you, you know, no, you know what really gets me is um, 
<laughs> another one of our friends like we were playing pokemon go and like there would be like technical issues with the app because sometimes it's a little glitchy and then they would throw out like maybe this is the problem <laughs> and i'd be like that's not how apps work <laughs> and i'm like i know too much about technology like i mean that, that what you're saying isn't even in the realm of possibility for what the issue is that's such the thing is is that that is a happier way to live yeah like it's I such know. a freeing way to be to to go like, okay like uh we do a mini scene, right? Okay, Jacob, can we have a location? A steakhouse. Oh, oh. hell yeah, dude. Uh, dude, I cannot wait to eat this steak. Oh, uh, monsieur, uh, welcome to my French steak. My, oh, French steak. My French Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, wow. It is a fusion. I'm the... I'm French, which sucks. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you're not a fan of, of it. Of course. Why don't you right, use this right, accent? Okay. I'm, well, I'm, just, I'm just here for the steak. I uh, really love it. And I love Brazilian meat. But I hate the French. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, don't have a strong stance, but if you hate them, sure. Right, you have to listen. The, the <laughs> food is free, but you have to listen. To <laughs> okay, I have to listen to you talk about how you hate the French. It Got is it. like the restaurant where everyone is mean, but just one guy is sad. <laughs> <laughs> one guy really hates himself. Uh, dude, this, uh, this here is the pork loin. Oh, okay. Uh, do you agree? I, I don't know enough about me. <laughs> but uh, you would say that it is or it is not the pork loin? Uh, I mean, we're at a steakhouse, but yeah, sure. Idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. Fool. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Bad way to live. <laughs> yeah, bad way to live. <laughs> Even at a thing that you are informed on? Yeah. As a French, uh, as a French Canadian, Quebecian, Brazilian native. <laughs> Native. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Native to that land. <laughs> At the direct center between you're, those two you're, points. Yeah, you're a native of French Brazil. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, but then we you go into that restaurant and be be super demanding and say, that is not a, a pork chop. Are you insane? That's nuts. Yeah. Then it's the authority. I feel like the, the freeing way is to be like, okay. Yeah. Hey, man. You don't get the pork chop today. Yeah. Uh, you order a burger uh, medium and it comes a little brown. And you're like, if you're the guy who goes, this, I should have pink in the center. Take this back and cook it again. I want to nom nom on my blood blood meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. whoa, whoa. Newly, I do not, but I just don't want to be around you. That <laughs> yeah. was weird. Um, Do you ever watch Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares or any of those? Uh, Kitchen Nightmares. And, and I try to watch Hell's Kitchen, but it didn't click with me. There's too much not the interesting part. Yeah. The ratio is way off. But there is a, um, in Hell's Kitchen, Gordon has what I guess is his general, actual, longtime chief of staff, waiter guy. The, yeah. The showrunner for the night or whatever. And this guy is, now he could be, he could be from Quebec, who knows? Damn, he's French. <laughs> damn, he could be German, but damn, is he, he is French. So French? He is like like he should have like a baguette and a little beret and like uh it's weird how there's two types of beret and one of them's for guns and one of them's for like a mime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't think about that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't you feel foolish for listening to the audio version? <laughs> Missing out on Oh no. It's a SEAL Team Six. <laughs> That's Saddam. <laughs> he's, I'm in my he's, little hole. He's shooting bullets inside of his inside of his mind box, <laughs> so they're just ricocheting ow, around. Ow. Why did I do that? Uh, also, I did not do good object work for the gun because I don't know how to use one. Yeah, and oh, you you think you're cool? Yeah. Oh, that's one um um actually type of person that I cannot abide. Mm. Is a is a gun nerd. Oh yeah, like, I know the type. It's like, what are you, what, what victory are you trying Except for to that one time that Moist Critical, like, explained the difference between, like, clips, clips and, and mags. mags. That was fun. That was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, well, actually, dude, that's the perfect example, right, is where somebody, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like when you get booted from Twitter, or, well, in the past, <laughs> <laughs> which now only happens if you, like, change your name to, to Pickle Rick, and they, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's not the real Pickle Rick. <laughs> you change your name to, like, Trans people are cool, actually. Yeah. They're like, hey, sweet. <laughs> He's got that fucking, uh, You're not allowed to say that. That cow sort of machine from old con no country for old men. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like, it's like when you get, I mean, when you get kicked off of any platform and the uh, the analogy that people now use, which I think is fairly accurate, is like, you're walking into someone else's house and like taking your shit on the floor. 
you can do that at home. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's not you don't have freedom of shitting here. This right. is that's not odd. allowed to do that. That is kind of what it's like when somebody comes into your domain. It's oh, like yeah. I actually know a little I know a little more about this. Oh yeah, like on the the thing that really messes me up about that would be when I would stream Minecraft and then people would backseat or just backseating on Twitch in general. Mm -hmm. Um I there would be so much of me that would want to go, I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong, and you're loud, and you're wrong. <laughs> the numbers on my side. Yeah, and then and then it's like, and then the some. I think uh, at least a couple of times I've done this, where I like go through, I like take the person at their word, and I go, oh, is this what I do? Oh no, you see, it doesn't work because you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> Pulling down one of those like adjustable yeah, whiteboards yeah, yeah. and pointing at it with a laser. Yeah, they're like, well, actually, you can, you know, uh, you can get the flim flam by uh, rubbing the pig, and I'm like, you can't get the, you can't do that. That's not the mechanic in the game. Um, yikes, bestie, pressed. Yeah. Oh, you actually care about that? Yeah. That's, that's the get out. Right, right, right. It's the smoke bomb. Yeah. Can use. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I think I um more I I think more than being wrong, I hate being corrected when I'm right because mm. then I feel like I go mask off. You're dumb. I'm I'm smart. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like it needs to be like proved, yeah. especially in a forum like Twitch or YouTube or something where it's like. But yeah, of course, I, I have the channel. I, yeah, I'm yeah. posting the videos. I don't right. need to fight this battle. Exactly. Whatever, it's like right? you don't need to fight the battle at all. I um, um I did ask, uh, I think it was uh, Austin or, or Kiola, somebody on our team, I asked them to just read like about 20 comments on a video that I put out. No, the video was fine. Like I, I like just fine. I still really short notice and, and shout out to the team for helping me with that. But... I, I worry about technical issues. Like there, in one time in the past, there was like a fuck up with uh, the processing, the right. audio processing on a video that I was very proud of. And uh, it just meant that like the first thousand views in the first, you know, 20, 30 minutes or whatever would just, uh, and then after that, you can see a noticeable drop off, but the first thousand views or whatever were just tons of comments. So like the audio is desync. This is all fucked up. And I, uh, I only caught it because I, made the rare choice to read the comments which mm -hmm. i would not normally do <clears throat> and i i i now the, my insurance for that is just asking someone on our team to read like a couple dozen yeah because so safer, safer. I, if i'm going to read the comments i'm gonna wait until it's kind of uh, uh herd immunity is kicked in and yeah. the, the the cream has risen to the top if you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah if you can i think the safest way to read the comments is like you're saying like after video going to the actual video page and then reading what the top comments are because when you read the little individual comments that come in it activates my like the same thing i'm describing like uh the last one that i screenshotted was <laughs> on my most recent video which is about the trend of people t telling fake stories or acting as if like stories from Reddit and shit are their own. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, like that that trend on TikTok. Hey, Reddit, this is a painting my grandfather did um, on his deathbed, and then it's like a Picasso painting. Yeah, <laughs> it would. It will. The video is called "Lying on TikTok for Clout." Which oh, you, yes, yeah, yeah. You would assume was about people lying on TikTok. <laughs> Wait, I remember this clout. comment. Someone this said, rocks. it's just an act. The dude is just being weird and attracting a following. How could Jarvis not realize no. this? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. the whole video is about how I realized this. <laughs> I don't understand. I do. I We, we referenced, um, we talked about this creator recently, but a friend of ours like disproportionately gets a lot of, I get a lot of DMs, or I used to, not so much these days, but DMs of like, um, Yikes, dude. Uh, so you're friends with this person? Mm -hmm. have, have you not seen their video on X? Um, I usually don't reply, but when <laughs> it's about, you know, a friend or something, that's when I do, you know, I feel at least I have an opportunity to correct them in a forum that maybe they'd listen to or at least don't. I, I just replied like, wait, which video? And then they linked the video and the title of the video is the opposite of the thing they're saying. Yeah. They're literally saying like, yeah, hey, uh, uh, LeBron James is bad at basketball. 
And then he's like, did you know he said LeBron James is really bad at basketball? And then he links the video and says, LeBron James is good at basketball. <laughs> yeah. One of the best players of basketball. <laughs> There's another thing that people do in the comments where they leave a comment before repl- like before know, watching the thing and don't delete it and then don't delete it. So the last uh, <laughs> the on the Hassan episode sometimes and maybe this is my sleep apnea induced hypoxia, but <laughs> it's caused me to like lose <clears throat> the word that I'm looking for when I'm talking sometimes and it's not always the same as it's like tip of the tongue type thing. And so I was trying to remember the term for body doubling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And for, I don't know, 90 seconds, I'm like kind of tip of the tongue while we're having a conversation. And then I go, Oh, by the way, it's body doubling. And so (laughs) someone left a whole paragraph where they're like, the thing that drives is describing is body doubling. It's actually really useful for blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, watch 90 more seconds. Like, (laughs) I get that you're like excited to like say or leave the comment and, and then watch 90. I, I don't know what I want. I don't so, know what I want, but I can tell you that's annoying to be like explained to when I knew what I was talking yeah. about. And I all I needed was the grace of 30 seconds to fucking remember the word. That's the tricky thing, right? Because it's nobody is nobody anywhere in that transaction has bad intentions. No, exactly. That is like a genuinely accidental car crash right 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 no, <laughs> no 100%. Fault. it's like in 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 it's the one of those wind things blew my car into yours. i'm like i'm like i totally get uh it's like um it's a it's a it's a hard line to toe as a creator because um <clears throat> the casual thing is like uh they didn't mean it like that. Relax. Stop being so serious. Like, stop thinking being so serious. And it's like, no, it's like I'm allowed to feel feelings. <laughs> sure. I, it's like I can I can be annoyed by something and it doesn't make it inherently bad. Mm. I, I can be annoyed by like a friend and it doesn't make them a bad person. You know what I mean? Like, sure. and it's so sometimes I just like have a reaction to something that I want to express, but it's tough. Like it's tough as a someone with a platform because you don't want to express it to your platform right yeah yeah yeah. um yeah i don't want to reply in that forum yeah uh i do sometimes reply like like um but it's usually very what's the word it's i'm usually replying in a very um matter of fact way oh like Like, kurt yeah because like like someone says something and then and then i can't remember what the comment i left was but i say don't I say this in the video? Question mark. Sure. Because it's then forcing them to go, oh, I only watched a second of it. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm actually a huge fan. No, because, uh, yeah, yeah. No, literally, it's <laughs> always that one. too. And then I'm like, <laughs> right, right. What am I doing? It's like I'm uh, the the real issue I always come to or the real resolution, <clears throat> the, the, the takeaway I have is that I just need to rise above and be a better more advanced person Mm -hmm. but i'm not always that way it's like hard to be perfect all the time and it's like if i were playing a turn-based strategy game where i were choosing my decisions from like a dialogue tree then uh i would probably make the right decision but like being in it and having feelings and stuff (laughs) it, it complicates the it complicates the equation yeah i i yeah it is really interesting i i mean now being inside the game i you know in the youtube space it, right. it does become very clear how many people are cursed with a desire to read the comments and engage with it i don't know why i don't i i think it's the type of content i make maybe mm. that's the little insurance because i read the sad boys comments or mm. more at least um my channel i don't know it's just i i I've, i never did so i can keep not doing it yeah but in the case of sad boys now i am curious and i do like the feedback and you know, guest episodes i'm like what do, what do people think of this is this the kind of show people want cool okay, yeah, great. yeah yeah i the only time i ever got in when i when i did stream many many moons ago the only time i ever got pissed off with my audience was when just it was it wasn't even that many it was just like a few dozen people that were doing this so like a minority of viewers but a few dozen chatters i was watching like some you know some jubilee bullshit and a few some people like jumped in and kind of started 
I hate I hate how how much like alt right dudes have ruined so many useful terms, but kind of uh, white knighting. Uh, I don't know white knighting for a for a couple of the people in this video because they had cried. The mm. reason they had cried was arbitrary and like self serving and stupid. Right, like right. it was a, it was a, it was cringe, but it was also manipulative yeah. and insane. And I this kind of part of me kicked in of uh, people were just like whoa um yikes jordan hasn't noticed how problematic this is this is this is a real yikes and the reason i got pissed off about it and just kind of had to kind of knock me off my game was because it's just a bit lazy it's like a lazy way of engaging with stuff it's take poisoning it's like oh an opportunity to engage critically an opportunity to say something negative i'm like no man come on with with the but a very quick summary of the context was it was literally just like, you know, it was people vying for cash on a, explain why you should have the cash of X oh, or Y. Yeah. And one of these people literally just went like, yeah, I, you know, I'd lost my friggin' keys. You know, like it was like that tier of thing. And I just, I don't know. I can't even articulate it right. I, the stuff I think that annoys me is, oh, oh, here's another good one is like people saying that, calling kanye kanye is dead naming oh yeah that kind that, of thing where it's like i understand what you're doing and you're trying to well if it's in faith which often it isn't but let's just say it is yeah i understand that what you're trying to do is like popularize and validate the experiences of people that are dead named yeah but the thing that's bad about dead naming isn't that it you're saying the wrong name that's yeah, not the yeah. part by itself that's bad right it right. is the disrespect you're having towards a marginalized community where the dead naming is and it, the designed. not the not acknowledging of like yeah. an identity type it's a thing. deliberate action it's like a yeah. slur for the wrong group right and and with uh with the yay situation it's like um yeah, it. I see what you mean, where it's like people mean well, and there's like a more nuanced conversation to be had, but that it's not going to be had in this like, in in this arena, in this yeah. moment, in this context. And I just, I, and I, I don't know, it, I don't know why it irks me so much. There's just something about like, if you're going to be an advocate for this kind of stuff, as you should, and as a lot of people do appreciate. You gotta put your best foot forward. Like you gotta, you gotta resist against just indulging in some capital D discourse on everyone's favorite platform yeah. X. <laughs> yeah, you call I, it X yet? No. Uh, sometimes I. Well, maybe once. I think. Yeah, I think it's. Um, ultimately, what I try to remind myself is that this kind of thing is like a good problem because we've attracted an audience of people who care and want to mm. do the oh, yeah. the right thing. Uh, and and where those shitty comments stand out because you're like, whoa, what the and fuck are you doing here? And also, like, while I, you know, um, we have an audience that is comprised of a number of various marginalized groups who do uh, feel some some of whom feel a safety in the space we've created. We can never be a safe space as individuals for like it's it's because we're we don't know you know we can't be a safe space for everyone because anything could trigger anyone you sure. know what i mean so there's no it's like very hard to cultivate a space that like is impossible to give someone a bad feeling yeah sure um, and 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 uh i have sometimes found like we put our best foot forward and we we try and i think that it's this is not a complaint but it is a little and i'm not looking to be thanked for this it was a preface but it's a it's a thank thankless endeavor and you have to do so out of a genuine intention of wanting to like act your values than being praised for um doing the right thing you know what i mean yeah sure no i because i i'm just thinking about like my own experience with yeah, I'm just thinking about my own experience. No, I feel you. I mean, it's not. I think if I, I, I we, we certainly do make a concerted effort to be welcoming and to, to yes, create a space. absolutely. But at the same time, it, it, it definitions of that can be different. And I think the only two things you can really do are 
critically think about feedback when it does come in and yeah. and address it accordingly if you believe you should. Right. And also just ad, yeah, advocate for the principles you do have. And yeah. Not, not indulge in like taking swings at others because it's fun to take swings at others. Yeah, it's like, exactly. You know who struggles with it or like gets a lot of flack for this stuff? And I think it's the maybe the most extreme contrast for this where anytime they don't, Anytime they break their bubble of of allyship or, or kind of miss the mark, they their audience is pretty vitriolic about it. It's the McElroy brothers, mm. and they have. A, I mean, I haven't really kept up with their stuff for the last couple of years, but uh, they historically, all three of them, just in, from the shows that they produce to the kind of general public personas and and YouTube podcasts, everything. Uh, kind of, and even Polygon when Justin and Griffin were involved with Polygon and it's kind of uh, fledgling days they're very 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 big advocates for the for uh, progressive politics and discourse and um, like social acceptance of trans people and LGBTQ plus, plus people and I, there have just been a number of times where I've seen they're like the, the, the demographic that's most active for them just fucking hate them like oh. some of the most like the cruelest oh. uh tumblr post screenshots oh, yeah. i've seen or discord posts just like uh an audience of otherwise like pretty soft soy people just being yeah. like it's time to burn them down <laughs> yeah. and you're like whoa i i think i kind of understand what's happening it's that like you offer somebody shelter and then they right in like the decor you know yeah it's it's interesting like it's 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 something that's also inherently parasocial because you were projecting like, like we, we had a guest on recently. I don't want to go into the specific comment commenter, but like we had a guest on and somebody was like, I can't believe you would had have someone on who has made jokes about this topic in the past. And I thought this was a safe space. And it's like, uh, I just, <clears throat> I think that their feelings are valid, but also I have to like know what my limits are in sure. it, or, or what our limits are in order uh, in the interest of like creating a safe space that's safe for every possible thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And preserving the like our actual per the way we engage. In the yeah, things preserving we the way that you engage and the preserving the humanity because like I don't want to... I don't want to only, I want to be able to speak candidly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it, and because I think there's like a humanity that's speaking candidly. Like I am a pretty diplomatic person. I'm a pretty, I'm a person who's really careful with like what I put out there. And like, if you have conversations with real people in the real world, or when I do have conversations with people who aren't in this like content creator bubble, sometimes people say stuff where I'm like, ooh, uh, Twitter <laughs> wouldn't like that one. <laughs> See, what the fuck did uh, Hassan say on when we did Fear and? Uh, yeah, is that where he's just what? like, uh, he asked us something that was potentially like we could say. Yeah, I was something. like, I'm not gonna speak on Britney Spears. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so, they were just like, uh, I thought it was actually, he was like bang on where he's like, they're YouTubers. They're YouTubers. They're not yeah, gonna. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, fuck, yeah, exactly. Maybe. I'm like, I'm like, yo, you streamers will just say anything because <laughs> I guess they're constantly in a s state of being canceled for something, uh, yeah. which makes sense because if you're if you're on stream for as long as you are, any micro thing can be blown out of proportion. Sure, and also there's only like so judicious you can be about the things you say and the way you say them because there's no edit and you. If you were, you would be spending 12 hours of your life, half of your professional, or half of your life is spent self-censoring to like some degree. Yeah, and the only reason I can do it to some ex to the extent that I can is because I've been self-censoring my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I went back to like- Yeah, it's not because we're YouTubers. No, no, no. <laughs> Three dates. It's because uh, it's you would have thought me at 12 was running for office because <laughs> I was like- the uh you now, know miss you mate that's an interesting position you've taken now of course i would contest that tristan sucks and is really mean mm -hmm. and actually he took my toy right but <laughs> hey, hey 
What do I know? Come on. <laughs> I myself take a position of uh, egalitarian respect. And yeah. I hope I have your vote for class yeah, king. When, uh, I can understand why Quinshawn might have stolen my Krillin toy. Uh, <laughs> but I do ask that he does not come back into my home to steal again. <laughs> and I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm not going to yeah, I'm not going to hold on to it forever. This and the grudge Krillin will not be not, published. It's not going to be sitting <laughs> in my storage unit to this day. Dude, that fucking sucked, by the way, when you when you found that. I had been I had been researching oh, right. that. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. not fair. It, Our like, birthday was coming up. I had like a whole <laughs> eBay list of buying you this toy you lost so many um, years ago. But uh, to to tie up that last thing, um, yeah, I've got I, the worst things I've ever said on the internet, to my knowledge, are uh, when I was fourteen on uh, my podcast. Um, the random podcast that I had when I was 14 I mean, and I've already like talked about, I've already talked about those things publicly to get ahead of them uh, as if I, as if I could expect to be canceled for <laughs> things I said when I was 14 years old. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I looked at, you know, if people are like, Oh, I went back through my old tweets and I had to like delete stuff or, Oh, people are deleting their old tweets. I routinely go back through my old tweets and it's literally just me making dad jokes and like tweeting at like the at midnight account and tweeting puns and mm. shit like that. And like, it's really like, I just had a big cookie and now I'm going to have a big sleep. Yeah, like, yeah. That was like my, that was my Twitter, my Twitter experience. On the rare occasion where somebody has clearly like gone through the archive or something and I get somebody that likes a tweet from 2010. Mm -hmm. I, my heart rate goes through the fucking yeah, yeah. roof. I just, Please don't. I mean, you can if you want. Just be aware that, like, I have not gone back through them. I probably, I, I mean, I can. I checked some keywords. <laughs> like, I did run through them. Like, I don't right. want, not even for self-preservation. I don't think anything will happen to me. It's more like, I don't want to make someone sad. I don't want to make someone that right. cares enough about my stuff and feel, yeah. for whatever reason, connects with it to just be bummed out on a Sunday. Right. You know? Even because they yeah, read me exactly like a what is now a slur that I maybe at the time thought was like, like the R word for example. Yeah, yeah I checked yeah. that and I had not tweeted it, but there was a period of time a little before Twitter came out, like maybe when I was like nine or ten, where that was like that was just the equivalent of like saying silly. It was yeah. so oh, it basic. was all over middle school. If I said like shit at school, I'd be in more trouble. And you, I mean, you said it right, when man. I wouldn't ask for any other audience yeah if i'm gonna exactly. get cold on something i'd rather it was something that i either agree on or at least respect the ideas yeah. behind um how the fuck are you what's up dude tell me the truth dude i'm get one of them lamps from a interview like an interrogation room somehow it's plugged in in your house it's like <laughs> flickering you're like hitting the table it's like it's like yeah but it's daytime so yeah, there's no, no effect really affect the light um and then there's a small like a uh, good cop in the background and <laughs> he's giggle. he's like he's like i don't i he's he's off <laughs> he's going crazy uh, look i'm gonna leave the light alone but i can't promise what'll happen when my partner comes in here yeah he's gonna start swinging that thing around <laughs> yeah, they, the light may go everywhere they should have more lights in there huh <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, it's all a part of the tricks. It's a bunch of reading paper and stuff. Like, you're like I can't fucking see it. Um, yeah. Do you know this man? Like, I, I'm not sure. Sorry, do you recognize this picture? I yeah, truly <laughs> cannot. Um, I am good. I've been playing so much Pokemon Go, but it's making me so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we've been. We thank you for the gift, by the way. You get you sent me a gift after we I became did send friends. You a gift. That was very sweet. Uh, I want to show you something. We're back on our bullshit. I I've been playing Pokemon Go. I've been playing it with our friend BB. I've been playing it with our friend, our friend Becca. Um, I've been getting everyone I know back into it. I'm trying to. <laughs> Sam from H3 just texted me that she redownloaded it. Um, not sponsored, but it is not sponsored but, in the slightest. But, but I would take a sponsorship. But, I would, I would absolutely take a sponsorship. Seven, you're welcome to but, answer. Uh, but the thing I was showing Jacob. So I have been. So here's what happened. I was trying to figure out why I started playing Pokemon Go because uh, uh, someone asked me. Because Eric, uh, who's a Minecrafter, uh, a friend of mine, had 
like when when he, when they were in LA last cuz they're in the UK now um had me Crikey. download it and I had it on my phone since then for a few months and I didn't tap in at all. And then I did that Pokemon Sleep sponsorship and I started playing Pokemon Sleep a bunch. And I was like, oh, this is fun. And uh, then I was getting, I was on my health kick. I was, I was like doing exercise. I was, I was running on my treadmill and stuff. And then my Blowing treadmill. in your special tube. And my, yeah, in my special tube. My treadmill fucking broke. Oof. It like. Too, I, too good at running. I, yeah, I got on it. I like turned it on. Boop. I started like like keying in the like elevation and the the speed and then it just powered off and i haven't been able to get it on since then warning to go to too yeah. fast <laughs> you're too sick <laughs> <laughs> he's him he, you're you are him <laughs> shutting down <laughs> computer no don't uh, stop keep going and so um and i was like i i still want to get out because it's like bumming me out that but it's hot and i don't want to mm. walk around but I want, I was like, I want a treat for walking around. I want a dopamine hit because the dopamine hit from exercise isn't enough. I need more. <laughs> and uh, I deserve it. And, and so I like got back into Pokemon Go for the first time since 2016. And look at, uh, look at my steps this month on average. Whoa, <laughs> so I can, I think I'm roughly know when you started playing Pokemon Go again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, it's like I was walking like a couple miles a day. Um, uh, I was walking for a couple miles a, a, a day normally, but I wasn't being too, too active. And then in the past week, I have averaged 8.6 miles a day walking, yeah. which is crazy. It's like 20,000 steps a day. Uh, and then since I moved, <laughs> I have, these are the flights of stairs that have gone up. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, it's a lot. 24. Four is it? Yeah, twenty four nice. flights a day of stairs. It's crazy the stairs because my house now has yes, yeah, it's the first time I've lived with stairs in like a number of years, and and, and not just going into the apartment but inside yeah. the apartment. It really changes your psychology. Yeah, it's like now it's time for downstairs. Oh, I'm going dude. to have a couple hours on the middle floor. Yeah, because otherwise I have to go up or down. Yeah, I uh, we made I, the fatal mistake of having our trash on the top floor though, because that's where oh. the kitchen is. Every time I need to go upstairs, I like look for excuses not to do it. <laughs> I'm like, ugh, I left my keys upstairs. I cannot leave unless I go up there. Frick. Maybe I need more keys. <laughs> what if I just leave my apartment unlocked? Uh, but yeah, Pokemon Go has brought a lot of joy to my life. I'm hyper focused on it right now. I started some channels in my Discord, been getting oh, a bunch of people in my own community. Uh, doing raids, uh, fighting Pokemon. Uh, I'm level 37 right now, if anybody's curious. And if uh, Max is 50, but uh, getting like 37 is pretty, it's starting to get up there. Uh, if you're high level in Pokemon Go, hit me up. Let's raid. Let's do some raids. Uh, and if you're in LA and play Pokemon Go, I might be down to beat up in person. I, I kind of want to stream it. I kind of want to stream it um like going somewhere uh mm. and then stream it but i would have to figure out how it would work it's funny because this is basically just like a, a scaling dopamine to exercise ratio yeah it's like i think i'm gonna stream it and i think i'll do crack while, <laughs> yeah while i'm I, doing it literally yesterday i was like my legs were tired i'd been out all day and i really ne wanted to hatch some eggs and i was like we're going <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> we're going, we're going on saturday night baby <laughs> i'm like we're going back in and so i walked an additional like three thousand steps or something um but my legs have been good my body's been feeling good uh the social elements of pokemon go are kind of blowing my mind because uh first of all way more people play this game than you would think because during the pokemon go boom of like 2016 mm -hmm. um what is okay in your head what's a lot of players of a game oh man like just of any game yeah i mean um concurrent on steam for example yeah. like i think uh fucking Baldur's gate huge 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 explosion right it was like 200k its first week for concurrence yeah maybe more a big l on a launch is like anything less than ten thousand. right is it 
But that's also sales. Yeah, aware. and like for for example, like at any given time, like a hundred thousand people are playing RuneScape right now. It's mm. it's actually growing still, which is great. Good good for RuneScape. I haven't played in two years. Still watch all the content. Um, shout out to all the RuneScape content creators out there. Uh, but um, for the months of Pokemon Go's release, two hundred thirty two million people played the game. So that was in twenty sixteen. Yeah. So that was basically that was when it was a craze and everyone played it. And or like with little hordes of locusts in San Francisco, we would float yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. And um, like almost like an insult to the city. Yeah, truly. <laughs> just like evidence of gentrification. Just yeah. all of us walking around in our little like uh, tech H and M hoodies. Right. Just like I, I. Oh my goodness. Yeah, pretty much. Is that Geo dude? <laughs> yeah, that's. I still say that to this day. Um, and so then Pokemon Go, like it, uh, f- like. Basically, Niantic, the company, like could not keep up with the demand. Their servers were always crashing. The game wasn't stable, blah, blah, blah. Um, 2017 had a huge drop off. And it's like kind of, but the thing is, the highs were so high and the drop off was so big that the, the conversation was all about the drop off. But the lowest number of players Pokemon Go has ever had in a given month is 62 million. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's, and so there's just... That's so much higher than I would have ever guessed. No, me too. In a month. In a month, yeah. I mean, I, Pokemon's a huge franchise, but it's at the same huge, time, yeah. it's such a... This po- is not flicking on a console. Yeah. This no. is a very different... And and to be to play it, it's you could play it probably. You pop hop in for a little bit, catch. for like a moment. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you nap, it, it does some good notifications for incentives. So if you have notifications on, I flick it open. Now yeah, that's yeah. good. Cause the, and there's also the thing they do really well is events, which I will be talking about soon, but that's one thing if for people who never played Pokemon go initial Pokemon go during the boom did not have much in the way of application for the Pokemon. Yeah. There catch. wasn't anything to do other than collecting them. And I remember like getting to level 20 was a really big deal. I remember Snorlax was impossible to find. Gyarados was impossible to get because Magikarp took so many candies and then um, there were no legendaries and so yeah all of that's changed there's like 700 or so Pokemon in Pokemon Go it's not every Pokemon from every generation but it's like most of the generations uh, and then spotty from like generations like six through nine Uh, nine is actually a dropping for the first time September 5th uh, and I'll be there New season of Pokemon Go starting. Adventures abound. The Paldea starters are coming. Anyway. The, 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 the Discord will do a big meetup. Oh, yeah. I mean, I might do that. But uh, the I was talking about the... Well, anyway, the game has just like kind of been on the low boil. Like boiling at a low heat. And so I don't... That, that's, that is 68 million. Yeah, like okay. it's still like... Okay. Yeah, and, and, and like Niantic... Um, has been trying to like recreate the the boom. You know, Brian uh, talked about. Um, hey, Br- hey, Brian. Hello. When we had Brian on, he was talking about Pikmin Bloom. That's another game that's still around. Niantic actually, previous to Pokemon Go, had done Ingress, which I didn't even know, but that was a game that like Russell, my friend Russell, played in San Francisco back in the day. It was like an AR go out and about, like there's stuff going on type game. Anyway, uh, <laughs> like life. Yeah, <laughs> there's stuff going on. <laughs> Finally, outside the stuff yeah, going well, on. So what's interesting is like uh, Niantic, they're really into AR. Like it's, yeah. I think they're really into like combining uh, real life experiences with technology. What's the term they're using for if you take a, it's world splice, reality cutting. Reality or blending. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, dude. The, uh, this past weekend was GoFest, Global GoFest. And... I went uh, to the Santa Monica Pier with uh, BB, um, our friend BB, and also with our friend Becca. And it, it like, this isn't like, a, the Global Go Fest is just, it's happening for everybody wherever they are. But at events like this, people like to meet up. Like, for example, there's a raid hour today uh, where there's going to be more raids of this legendary Pokemon Evel Tall. And I might drive over to Santa Monica Beer Pier and see if people are doing raids for it. Because I want to get a sense of like what the local community is like. Kind of tight. But How long is this thing going? An hour. At the whole festival or whatever. Oh, the, so the festival was this past weekend. But oh. there's so many events. I'll tell you about it. Like, okay. for example, this Saturday from 2 to 5, there's uh, 
a community day where there's like a celebration of a specific Pokemon and there's XP bonuses and perks and stuff. Charmander is the community day. Uh, so for from two to five, I'm going to be playing that whole thing and I might go somewhere and just like play. Um, but anyway, GoFest, we went to Santa Monica Pier and the whole reason I was saying that it was like this, um, it's a global event where there's not like a specific location because they already had an event in New York and they've had an event in Japan. But this was like, Every, everyone's getting this event now. There wasn't anything in LA, but I just we just went to Santa Monica Pier because we knew that it was a hot spot for Pokemon Go and has been since the original boom. You would have thought it was a goddamn Go convention. Everyone, everyone was playing Pokemon Go there. The whole pier was full of people on their phones playing. Hundreds and hundreds, like, like I'm talking like probably 200 to 300 people playing from the most beautiful thing about it was it was people of all ages. I saw like, old like um like maybe women in their 60s two buddies playing oh that's it, sweet and, and they had like go fest shirts on and i was like this is just like go fest new york shirt so they were tr they traveled the to that event <laughs> they haven't they, just walked the whole way yeah 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 and then and then i there were kids playing with their parents whole families playing i am playing currently with uh jacksepticeye's editor trey and trey's mom and dad both play and so oh, i play with fun. them also because they're really high level so they carry me through the raids <laughs> um and like for example, I uh, I'll show you. Um, this is such a nice uh, like uh, case study in why gamer elitism and gatekeeping is just so outdated. It's so, like this counts. This is gaming. This There's this counts. Yeah. Th so check this oh, out. This is that. a this is a shiny Snorlax with a cowboy hat, milady, which was a um, which was a event. Uh, you know, you can scroll down here. And I caught it in Santa Monica um, on eight twenty seven, and it was a part of Pokemon Go Fest twenty twenty three. And uh, when I caught this, we were walking. Um, we you need to keep walking to keep the spawns going, so that's another reason that like you know I'm walking a ton. Uh, I have I have reached a yeah I've, I've quite often reached a, a satiation point where doing it from the beanbag in my bedroom seems to be limited right pokemon wise maybe. yeah maybe because there's like a road right by my house right. maybe yeah. they're being hit <laughs> yeah, that's true yeah i check the that's ar the, re just the reality is, is blending <laughs> just just a beedrill splatter is, yeah beedrill is is blending with the concrete <laughs> um, so reality bending with my truck <laughs> yeah i'm bending the fucking slow poke around my truck um so so the driver has no idea what's happened. They can't see anything. Yeah. It's just dent. I was thinking about that. Like uh, when you do AR with your buddy, I was like, can Dipper see Dragonite? <laughs> but um, so. Is you know, Dragonite? Dragonite's not, my buddy? No, it's not a Dragonite. Do you know it's not a Dragon type? Do you know that? He is a Dragon type. No. No, Charizard's not a dragon type. No, wrong. <laughs> the, fun, the fun fact is Charizard's fire and flying and he's not a dragon type. <laughs> Javis. Anyway, I will. I am the authority. <laughs> okay, well, this is fair. I will do anything. So the reason I showed you that Snorlax. So I'm wa I'm walking, and I I ca I I catch the Snorlax, and I I'm like, I to BB and uh, Becca. I was like, Sh oh, I got the shiny Snorlax, like the cowboy hat, and then this child who's no older than eight goes, oh my god, I've been trying to get that all day. And then his dad looks at me and he goes, nice job. Oh, <laughs> like his dad yeah. and him are both playing. There's people with like iPads and phones. There's some people like double fisting it, like akimbo, <laughs> like iPhones akimbo. They're playing with two phones. A laptop. <laughs> yeah. A desktop PC with a generator. No. And it's like uh, the downsides of it is like, sure, there's microtransactions. Playing free to play is very feasible if you live in a big city and there's tons of resources on like how to do that. I am not doing that. I bought a Pokemon Go Plus Plus, not sponsored. Uh, and mean? this is an auto catcher that like spins Pokestops in your pocket. So I was at the streamies. <laughs> have, a look, have a look at it. I, yeah, yeah. It's literally just like a, a button. It's got a nice weight to it. It yeah. feels legit. And you can uh, track your sleep. Yeah. I hate that rat. You don't that, have to. A little rat. I want to burn him. <laughs> I hate Pikachu. You can make him roadkill. <laughs> no, I want to blend him with my reality. 
right. I'm trying to. No okay, words. he's back. I want to blend him with uh, my AK. <laughs> <laughs> AK blending but anyway uh, you can use it to track your sleep but uh, the main thing is like it sits in your pocket and uh, you can catch Pokemon with it like AFK and then also spin Pokestops which is which is nice but I uh, am spending money because I got sponsored for Pokemon sleep so now I'm like this is all on the house baby <laughs> um, this is research yeah this is not I, can, I cannot stress enough this is not sponsored I've just been a Pokemon fan for my whole life so I know it sounds like very like gushy but anyway um but yeah, so I've been playing a ton and I'm having a goddamn ball and I'm going to be playing this weekend. I'm going to play later today and it's just like a part of my like routine. I think it's going to like the goal is just to have it like sink into my normal routine because there's um like in the mornings you get a free incense that spawns special Pokemon, including like uh, uh, like Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres potentially like uh they're very rare and they run away from you they're very hard to catch but that's only a 15 minute everyday thing and i have been walking to breakfast that's like a mile and a half away and then like doing my like daily stuff and then i walk back and then that's already i've like got three miles in i had breakfast i like played a little pokemon go had a good time i honestly did i got my bike fixed on me recently Ooh. i have been waking up a little late so I haven't been, it hasn't been quite viable because if the roads are busy, um, I will be blended with the reality of the road. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, also you've been to my apartment. The surrounding area is like bike paths, are like just kind of a premise. Yeah. Just kind of an idea. You kind of just have to pretend to be a car, which makes <laughs> no one happy. Yeah. It turns out that, you, okay, well, I need to get in a car to be one. Shut the hell no, up, man. No, it's like, it's like when you, when you're biking on a road, like what, cause this wasn't me in San Francisco. When you're biking on a road, it's like, yes. I, I'm supposed to be treated like a car and the cars are supposed to go behind me. But no one's happy with not, that arrangement. Not the all. cars don't want to go 15 miles an hour. Uh, I don't want to feel uh, a metal death trap like like breathing down the, my neck. Dude, I legitimately, I used to ride to the Patreon office from mine, which basically yeah. meant I was just going across market from the Tenderloin and then just down ninth, right? And it was... And thanks, it's like a pretty quiet street, like relative to, mm-hmm. a, to a city. San Francisco roads are relatively quiet before you hit kind of the South End Mission, et cetera. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're downtown. There is like, I don't think they know you're allowed to be there. <laughs> they legit, but they would just honk at me for being in the bike lane. Oh, yeah. You, do you think this is just like a painting of a bike that yeah, they have on the road yeah. for like fun? Oh, the only reason I felt safe in um, bike, because I used to bike to work uh at Patreon as well. The only reason I felt safe, and it was like on false, it was the false, uh, the the one we moved to. The only reason I felt safe is because there was a fleet of other bikers yes, yeah, that yeah. were biking at the same time. And I was like, well, they can't hit all of There's us. There's only so many they can kill. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're playing the numbers game. But, but it's a huge problem in San Francisco. Like, There's tons of deaths that are caused by like, um, essentially like, drivers not being not paying attention and but it's also a horrible city to own a car in yeah so like the weird compromise yeah exactly i do fucking miss going to an office though i do i, I really I, including for like i mean the motive the motivation you're saying for pokemon go as in having somewhere to go and a process of going there every day i know we were tasting the other day it's it's not fair that you could do so much for your depression by going outside. Yeah. It shouldn't work like that. Right. It should, you should get that from like eating thin mints or something. Yeah. You should get that from having Yoshinoya. I, I, the, I, it was like a hundred degrees outside in LA yesterday. Dude. <laughs> and I still did my like Pokemon Go stuff and I, I was safe. You know, it's like I was hydrating and stuff like that. But I was like, damn. This game got me walking around in 100 degree weather and I'm just chilling. Very cute that they give that little heat warning. Oh, they That's do give nice. you a heat warning. The one last thing I'll say about Pokemon Go, there's a funny interaction I had. I was walking um, to my breakfast spot. I was on the sidewalk uh, and I, I caught a raid that was happening. Uh, and it was like an easy raid to do for like one person. Um, but then another person joined the raid and I was like, oh, whatever. And then I just like did it. And then we beat the raid. And I was about to start walking to um, my breakfast. And then somebody honked at me. And I was like, oh, I must be, like, close to a car in the road or so- something's happening. I don't know what I did. But I'm uh, 
someone's mad at me. <laughs> and then I look up and there's a maintenance guy parked in the middle of the road with his hazards on. And he goes, and he was That's the guy cute. raiding with me. That's sick. <laughs> it was so sick. Dude. That's so funny. That's basically like the ad that they that Nintendo yeah, it would like put half, out. It felt like a commercial. Do you remember when the Switch was announced and it was two people playing online and then they were on the roofs? Right. They were like, over here, brother. And yeah, then go no, have a like, house party. Literally. And I was like, man. And the thing is, I would have a, I would have small talk with a stranger about Pokemon Go. It's because uh, there's lots to talk about. It feels like what I assume talking about like Monday Night Football is. Yeah. You know what I mean, oh, the game last night, huh? What's going on with that? Like there's so many little things that happen where it's like, oh, this morning um, a freaking a, a shiny ran away from me. And it was very sad. And then somebody that actually did happen to me this morning. A shiny pat rat ran away. And so I have this very sad. <laughs> Straight into the freeway. <laughs> now he's blended <laughs> with the street. Um, and now I have this very sad um, journal entry. Where it says Pat ran away, but it's like it's got the shiny stars, uh, and he had blue eyes. It was a beautiful, beautiful rat. How incredibly shameful! I know. Look at him. Oh, he's cute. I really do hate Pikachu. Like that's a cute rat. I do think if I saw a Pikachu, I would just I would take it to a vet put down. <laughs> I would be like, "There's a I found a like just a dangerous rat, and it's all it's electric." I, <laughs> it's electric. Boogie, oogie, oogie. <laughs> um, I was like kicking into the freeway. I like, I like Pikachu enough. The thing about Pikachu is because he's like on um, mascot mode. Um, they just do Pikachu too much. Like for the uh for the weekend, there were these they had these biomes where there was like different Pokemon would uh, spawn every hour. And for each biome, the, um, like, so it would be like, um, it would be like the ice biome or the whatever. And for each one, there was a special Pikachu with a little crown. And, <laughs> and uh, there, so there, there were like four event Pikachus that you could get. And I was like, I don't, you know, I like kind of, I, I like don't care about this, but I also like, kind of like that it's exclusive and cool and i did get two shinies of the the crowned pikachu so i'm like i don't know i'm in i'm in too deep all right gang what does phase clan orange chicken pizza rolls mean <laughs> it's exactly like it sounds what could that possibly uh, sorry i should say wait can we go back to the, what, the, what okay. the fuck is this wait no 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 go back go back oh, yeah go back to the previous like this is for those who don't know, Jacob is kind enough to to pull together for a conversation board whatever topics we've been talking about throughout the week, or we jot down on their phone just for reference. We we can never get to all of them, but it you know it help, helps to have like a, a surplus. This is maybe the most deranged it's ever been. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, I mean, well, well, I guess we can touch on the topics, <laughs> but it does include guy with monkey. True. Uh. <laughs> Crocs. crocs just crocs by okay, itself the crocs thing by the way is uh i've been walking a lot and when i first started walking a lot my the thing that i slip on to walk out to like take dipper to go to the bathroom or something is crocs because uh we met like a croc person at vidcon last year and then they sent me a bunch of That's pairs right. of free crocs and so uh, i've never paid i have like five pairs of crocs i've never paid for one of my life and i like i even like the way they look practically walking though i get so much random shit in my feet mm. and i'm like what am i oh. doing i'm kicking up little dirt and twigs and fucking flora or whatever into my feet and in it and it hurts and then i have to shake out my shoes <laughs> and it's like i shake out my shoes and like five rocks fall out Dude. and i'm like where do they come from you need some defensive giblets yeah. Some shielding giblets. Gibbets, oh, I those, think it is. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. those little bags that like serial killers put on their shoes. We need the Shane Dawson spike. Yeah. <laughs> the punk. The punk crocs. ones. So for that reference, uh, we... Okay, so this is a Patreon thing, and it's... I was going to say not sponsored, but it is. Uh, but that, that was organic. We reacted to uh, Shane Dawson's most recent fast food conspiracy video um, in our emotional pervert tier on our Patreon. It's a, how long was the react? Uh, just over an hour. It was over an hour of us reacting. We do a full 30 minutes on just his brand deal <laughs> that he did. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh my God! What? 
so yeah anyway in that Shane Dawson does wear Crocs that have uh, spikes on them <laughs> patreon.com slash that boys get an extra episode every single week and you at the highest you can get any more stuff hey forget yeah so like for for five dollars a month you can get every single bonus episode. You get access to every single bonus episode. And there's like, okay, so there's 26 episodes of Sad Boys Nights right now. And then there's additional additional videos uh, at the higher tiers as well. So we've got like a Milf Manor React. We've got a um, the Shane React. We've got a different Shane React. It's becoming a trend. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah. And we had that old some old apps on there? oh yeah there's like a an episode we did with mkbhd mm -hmm. that never got released it's middle on the of Patreon lockdown now. end of 2020 yeah it's like end of 2020 early 2021 oh, um so anyway organic ad placement for our patreon uh also bonus episodes with a ton of our guests like you know all yeah. the last guests that have been on have had extra episodes but anyway that'll be the patreon plug for this episode we did a yeah we did a shane react and uh the man has some Badass gibbets. 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 That's so close to giblets. It, it, I want to say giblets. Those are gibbets more... isn't, isn't anything. <laughs> yeah. Giblets sounds way more. He has to little say. spikes in his crocs. So North Korean basketball. <laughs> Why is that on here? Oh, which we did the face clan one too. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Face <laughs> clan. Well, we were just talking about the random stuff that's yeah. on here. Guy with monkey, face clan, orange chicken, psychic pizza rolls. powers. Croc, psychic powers, <laughs> Illuminati, North Korean basketball. That's like it's, my activation phrase. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like um, that song, We Didn't Start the Fire. Yeah. Croc, it's Pokemon like, Go, Dodgy yeah. Situation, Guy with the Monkey. Illuminati. Yeah, bad podcast of the week. North Korean okay. basketball. <laughs> yeah. Torturing Guy yourself on stream. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't start the, the fire. Torturing yourself on stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I... Um, uh, before we click on the Phase Clan, do you know the Phase Clan did a, a official collaboration with DC Comics, Phase Clan and Batman? No, yeah, way. a real comic. I don't know if it was a run or a single single comic, but it is like it's like they do, you know, like RoboCop and Superman team up to uh, play Call of Duty or whatever the fuck they do. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I I tried like. I'm not gonna pay for it. So you know, I haven't read it, but and I can name all the members. I don't think I can name any of them. Face Wait. Jarvis. Oh yes, I can. Well, he's no longer in Phase Clan. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can name none of the members of Phase Clan. Then. I can name the ones, th the the two that got kicked out, Phase K and Phase Jarvis, because they're brothers, and one of them has my name, and. Faze Jarvis's manager, or someone claiming to be Faze Jarvis's manager, DM'd me and asked me to give Faze Jarvis my internet handles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, in what fucking universe? <laughs> you insane person. Give. Yeah. Now. And uh, I blocked him. <laughs> I didn't even respond. I'm oh, like, you dude. are you are tripping, dude. Fine. But but I but I have nothing bad to say about Faze Jarvis. Uh, I don't know him. Yeah. Uh, don't know him. And uh, only this thing to say about someone who was at least claiming to be his manager at a certain point in time that was like years ago. I mean, hey, the guy knows Batman. How bad can he be? You know? Yeah. He, so. he fought uh, the Joker. I don't know what the comic is about. What did they do? Is it? It's Call of Duty, right? They or used to be to do like you used to do like a. Uh, trick shots and stuff right they were like the dude oh, perfect the of, fucking... of, of 360 no scopes yeah but then so now they are a competitive team and i yeah think... well they have a number of competitive they are teams. in the esports space yeah, yeah. and they I, sponsor they're, spargo they're like pretty the smash player pretty competitive right like they, they, they at various decently. points in time have been but then at other points in other games haven't been but it seems I like think currently the, they're not very the main avenue is influencer that was like creators. a thing where it's like oh we make more money if we lean into the influencer aspect yeah it's they're smart too it's, yeah there's no there's very little competition relative to a competition yeah where you could lose lose uh but yeah anyway they but phase clan but chicken. do you know about the stuff that happened with phase clans like the sort of uh they went public yes and yeah, yeah so like and eight shit maybe yeah basically the valuation of the company was like a billion dollars at when they went public and now it, it they're about to be delisted from the the stock exchange because yeah. the stock went so low well, we should say that the valuation is uh speculative and often bullshit especially with uh smaller very famous orgs 
that yeah. get their valuation via yeah. maybe some not the most reputable or informed sources. And what happened? Uh, what happened with Phase Clan was that they didn't list traditionally. They did this process where they like take another company that's already on the stock market and they merge with that company and then it oh. changes its entity and it results. It's so actually you do a kind of reality door. merging. It's like will. a yeah reality bending. Yeah, it's called a SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Huh. Um, but yeah, so it opened in tw- July tw- uh, July twenty twenty two at thirteen dollars per share. Do you want to guess at what it's trading at? It opened at thirteen dollars per share. <sighs> per share. Two. Is it two dollars a share? Twenty seven cents. <laughs> <laughs> Let's buy some phase. Twenty seven cents. Damn. Yeah. How about buying a controlling stake of phase and making them only play like Clash of Clans? <laughs> this is their stuff. Bro. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's like they go public. Everest. They go public. They reach a high of seventeen dollars in September second, twenty twenty two. And by November. September, October, November. Yeah, so in, in, in two short months, they are at $2. Fucking hell. And then now they're at 27 cents. Um, but still a viable company internally, right? They're still doing what they do. They've, I, things are rough because I think there's a, this internal tug of war between the uh, original members. Because you, you remember when that girl from Stranger Things... Uh, joined phase and then got kind of bullied out of it by I, one of the other phase no, members. No, really? Yeah. Um, I feel like the 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 news about them and the controversies they get so dense. I like, yeah. To keep track yeah. Of it. Uh, yeah. It was like um, there was a Grace phase Grace Grace Van Dien, this actress who was in an episode of Stranger Things. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. we should talk about that too. Um, well, we just got to add that in later. We just got too many topics mm-hmm. this time. Uh, but yeah, this actress got called out cause she didn't know what like a trick shot was or whatever. And then phase rain an an older member, this is like old, old drama, but like phase rain, like kind of made her cry. He didn't come out looking super great. This is when they all live. This is in no, this isn't even, this is when she joined. She just like, they announced that she joined and then like a few a month later she was like out because of like this because all of these because all the original phase members are like they're selling the soul of the company for the suits or whatever and they didn't get like the right ownership so they're not really profiting from the company i'm not sure how much they're profiting but phases just got lots of stuff Uh, and apparently one of the things they have is orange chicken pizza rolls (laughs) Is this new? <laughs> Tech yeah, Soto does the most with the least. Man. Well, at first it was news. Now it's like a sponsored thing with Tech Soto. Totino's Orange Pizza Roll. What was it? What was the uh, total total? Uh, Totino's Orange Pizza Roll Review. The perfect zest for a gaming sesh. It just I, feels like an outdated version of gaming marketing. I kind of want pizza rolls now though yeah, no. i don't need these bro- this brand but orange chicken inside a pizza roll i've never considered orange chicken inside of a pizza roll idea for a segment we do one of those uh tries american candy or whatever but i get some of my favorite british ones yeah no you we get need something to... like, i've never had a pizza roll oh you know what we need to do oh 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 yeah we need sam for this sam could crush this uh for a chef's hat well, I forgot to get us pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, that's right. For a taste test. Maybe we can still make this happen on the bonus. Um, to, right. Totino's and FaZe Clan are back at it again. Did they do something? Well, I don't know. Maybe they have done something in the past. Uh, Dexerto, by the way, literally they post, they post so much for clicks that I today got Po- two Pokemon Go stories from Texerto recommended to me. Pokemon Go bans players abusing XL candy exploit in routes. Pokemon Go players divided over Charmander Community Day Classic reveal. Let me talk about that for a second. Oh, there's drama in the Pokemon Go community. This Saturday, hey, let go of me, man. This Saturday from 2 to 5, there's a Charmander Classic Community Day. Community Day Classic. The Community Days, they're meant... Or the 
community day classics are meant to be like Pokemon that are classic that uh, newer players have not gotten a chance to um, mm. to get. And community days happen like once a month or every couple of months or something. Um, and it's three days. The Pokemon's everywhere. Easy to get. Easy to uh, to farm to try to get the shiny version. Try and get good IVs on the shiny version. Anyway. Um, people are mad about the Charmander one because they uh, have done Charmander Community Days twice before in the past. And I was like, that's kind of understandable. But it's a little gatekeepy because, like, what about the new people? But then the... Okay. Let... If you were like, oh, other po like Charmander's been featured in Community Days twice before, uh, but and so people want to, some diehards want to see it like a new Pokemon featured. How long ago do you do you think the last Charizard Community Day was? <sighs> Three years ago. Well, you guessed it correctly. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Twenty-seven so cents. I think. Well, but I think it's insane. The last. It, the, it is long. The last Charizard Community Day was in twenty twenty. And then so I'm like, people were like, we've already had a Charizard community. Day. I'm like, yeah, three years ago. What the fuck? They're, they're mad that there's been a, a new Charizard community day in three years. Because <laughs> like, they're like, we already had it. And I'm like, no, not all of, not all of us have been playing this game for six people years. People reach the age where they stop playing video games. I would be like, oh, it's it's one thing if it was happened like a couple months ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm like, it's been three years. But I'm psyched because I haven't. Uh, so I fucking guess, do it. Yeah, it's a, it's there's a community day every even. month. Relax. Yeah. Um, all right. Did we, Wait, did we find an, another FaZe Clan? Pro? They had buffalo chicken at one point. What is going on? Uh, did, uh, both pizza rolls, yes? Yeah. Uh, I, I need to give an update about my sleep apnea stuff. This last week, I had what may have been one of the worst, like, doctor visits I've ever had in my life oh. because I go into this like ear, nose and throat doctor. And so where we last left our sleepy heroes, I was complaining about how all of my doctors were on vacation and they couldn't explain my sleep <laughs> studies. Yeah. And, um, which is like a very new diagnosis you're exploring. Yeah. So and, like and also in the report, they're like, here's the treatment options, like jaw surgery, like CPAP machine, like all these things. And I'm like, that sounds so extreme. I need a doctor to talk me through this. And uh, so the next doctor that would know anything about this, I, I was seeing was like a, a ear, nose and throat doctor to talk to about my deviated septum. And I go in and I mentioned the sleep apnea stuff and they're like, oh, well, do you have your sleep study with you? And I was like, yeah. And then they're like, do you want me to explain this to you? And I was like, oh, okay, sure. And then she was like, um, yeah, so, uh, you should never drink alcohol again. You need a CPAP machine. You shouldn't sleep on your back. Your, uh, your brain is going to die due to like your brain tissues dying due to hypoxia. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I was like, oh my God. And I like, it ruined the rest of my day. I was like sitting and I was like, what do I do? And then also I'm getting deviated septum surgery, um, to fix that. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, uh, every, my whole life is like changing as we know it. I'm like reaching out to friends to see if like they've had experience with one, the surgery two with like a CPAP machine, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, on Friday, I finally have an appointment with my sleep doctor who actually did the study or his sleep tech did the study. Um, and so I literally just wanted to, I like paid him $300 out of pocket, out of insurance for just a consultation about the sleep study because uh, I was so scared. <laughs> oh. And um, and he like walks in and he's like, yeah, so you wanted to like talk about the sleep study results? And I was like, yeah, have you heard the news? I'm dying. <laughs> like it's, it's, a, it's bad, doc. And then he's like, yeah, uh, this isn't bad. <laughs> this isn't that bad at all. He's like, you have mild positional sleep apnea, which means that like, as long as you just don't sleep on your back, you're pretty much fine. And then, uh, including to the, with the CPAP machine, no CPAP machine. He's like, you, you could get a CPAP machine if you want. <laughs> There's also this other device that you could get. That's like 
like way less than a CPAP machine. And you just like put it on your nose if you want to try that. And I, and I was like, what about the hypoxia? It's like, yeah, I mean, like maybe if like for the rest of your life, you like don't do anything about this, there could be some issues. Yeah, if you don't use something or change the yeah, way yeah, yeah. positional but like, you said it but was. Yeah, and he was like, this, this kind of stuff like, uh, usually shows up with time. And so like you're dealing with this like early enough that you shouldn't like see any like issue from it. And I was like, oh, so everything's fine. And he's like, yeah. Like he was like clearly like, he's like, what do you mean? You're... What could someone have said looking yeah, at what this? Yeah, co- some, what could someone have said? And I'm like, this is like why, this is not medical advice, by the way, but this is why it was very important to me to have multiple opinions. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, not to mention one of the scariest things to do. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Dude, story. it was, I mean. I mean, one of the scariest things to do is go to a professional when you know something is or could be wrong because you're scared of the bad news. So you could have very easily just been like, well, that's fucking awful. I'm just, I give up. I'm not going to get a second opinion. No. You know, they're a doctor. They're not going to yeah. wrong about this. Right. Well, cause it was not a, that fucking wrong getting it's, everything. Really it's wrong. like, I, it's like, I think that mm-hmm. if I'm to put myself in the shoes of the doctor, they were giving me general, they were like sort of, they glanced at the thing and maybe they were giving me general heads up about sleep apnea in general, maybe. But I was like, it was, it was so weird. Cause I, oh yeah, I was like, oh, so they said I, I, I like shouldn't drink ever. And he's like, I mean, it might make the, the sleep apnea worse for like a night, but like, it'll wear off by the time you get to sleep and it's like not a big deal. Well, like alcohol just fucks with sinuses and sleep yeah, quality, right? Yeah. Like, it's what? like, it's like, it's like not a big deal if you're not drinking all the time. Is the hypoxia just from bad sleep? The is hypoxia that... is from uh, oxygen. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, so because with sleep apnea, like if I sleep on my back, I could have events where I like don't breathe for like 30 seconds. Do you sleep on your back mainly? Mm, I sleep in every position. Um, but I do sometimes sleep on my back. And so I definitely slept on my back in the fucking sleep study. Cause I had 9,000 wires connected <laughs> to me and, it, and, uh, I couldn't, uh, if I it feels like they should have a new way. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know I, Cause I, mean? I couldn't fucking turn because then I'd be like rapid. I would choke my, I choke all of my body parts with wires. That really does feel like an out dated method not that there should be or like hey i mean they're still doing it whatever but really it it feels like an iron lung (laughs) that should be we don't we shouldn't use that anymore i was so yeah should just be like a little foil hat or something right yeah like (laughs) keep the aliens out um (laughs) wards the sleep up yeah but uh but anyway so i i don't want to discredit the doctor i'm sure they're like the first doctor yeah i'm sure they're excellent at what they do but like they're not a sleep doctor so i'm sure they know the stuff that they need to know for their like medical license but then they're probably not focusing on sleep stuff every day because they're doing stuff with ears they're Mm -hmm. doing stuff with noses throats (laughs) the whole ent spectrum (laughs) And uh, I mean, I guess so maybe I, they're giving you a severe version that they expect yeah. you to kind of. Yeah, I get think back that into. ultimately the problem is that I couldn't talk to it. I, I it's been like three weeks since my sleep study, and I wasn't able to talk to a doctor until last week about it. And so they probably assumed that I had had more information. Sure, you know what I mean, and more of an understanding of what was going on. So. I mean, I hope that doctor is good because I'm still getting my deviated septum fixed by them. So yeah, that's that's the area though. That's yeah, that's they're, their, they're, nose they're in the pocket. Based. They're in the pocket. Yeah, um, they're, they're back that's, in pocket. Nose is that middle name. Literally. <laughs> yeah, nose goes. Um, nose goes. That's what I'm gonna say uh, when I get, get my surgery. I'll Take look myself thing. in the mirror and go, nose goes <laughs> to the doctor. Um, just, just be like uh, that thing where they are like not this arm or whatever. Just put this nose. Get rid of it. Whole thing. Uh, you know what's funny is um, I love when you're doing blood tests and stuff or you're doing surgery that they like do the checks with you. You are Jarvis, right? And you're getting surgery on your arm and I'm like on your left arm. 
cool. And I, I'm like, you guys should know this, right? But <laughs> really, they're just doing the like the sanity check sure. of uh, making sure that they don't operate on the wrong person or on the wrong thing. For being the sacrifice being a bit weird. But if beforehand. you don't know that, if you don't know that, you just walk into the the operating room, and then they're like, uh, what, what do you want? Like a freaking like nose job or something? Uh, <laughs> like, a bit off the top. Yeah, yeah fade. just take it all off. Yeah, you can't have a surgery. Like just, a low taper fade. Yeah, they just give you a really tight fade. Yeah, <laughs> dude, damn, I didn't know I had to go under for this. <laughs> Fuck, I look but good. I guess I understand. Damn, you gave me waves. Yeah, dude, I got wave. I got wave. Wave check. Oh, oh in the wrong arm. <laughs> Fuck, I got waves on my arm. How? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. Well, it, it unnecessarily stressful sucks, but I'm glad that it was. I'm not over. Good. Yeah. So like Wednesday, Thursday was rough all i had was pokemon go to make me feel better and um friday i you know i was a little bit like whiplash even though it was better i just like kind of took off and then i think i was just like working weekends back to back um it was just podcast stuff but you just didn't have normal time to rest so um now i'm feeling good i've got the surgery scheduled for uh, like next month, like end of September. Uh, and it's pretty, since I'm not doing anything to my nose, I'm just fixing the deviated septum. I like recover pretty quick from it. It's like, so I shouldn't miss any podcasts or any videos or anything, you know, knock on wood. But uh, we can, uh, maybe we record it from the surgery. Ooh, yeah. And we're like, I'm just speaking to the surgeon. Yeah. It's like, you reckon I can I have a go? Yeah. Maybe let me get in there. He's getting a fade, right? What's going on with that? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> they wake you up. You're like, Which, what are we doing? I can go to sleep. Talking to the surgeon. You see the guy with the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at the guy with the monkey. Showing him TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> did you go to the streamies? <laughs> oh yeah. The streamies did happen. I had no idea that. How, it was literally, they happened. And I was like, oh really? Shit. It was. Me too. And I was involved. <laughs> the uh, Yeah. They moved him up this year. And I was so confused about everything that I showed up and they were like, where's your plus one? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, because none of our friends went. Yeah. I was like, it was like me and Ted Nivison, <laughs> like who was a friend. Ew. I know. Yeah. So, so it's like, I saw Ted and then me and Ted were doing a bit, but uh, otherwise I like, wasn't like last year we were at a table. We had like friends. Yeah. We had stuff and people it's like, fly in it was none of that me. none of that happened this year so i literally went i did like my little cringy bit and then which was all improvised which which was worse probably because uh i think i'm probably the only one of of the people involved with improv experience uh and so it was very dumb and 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 i thought that i would want to go to the streamies but then I realized that the only reason that I would want to go is if I was going with friends. And so when I realized that, I was like, what did I do any of this for? Sure. And uh, then I just left. After my thing, I just like uh, went home um, and, and I just like left the show early because I was like sitting. I mean, I was with Ted and, so, and shout out to Ted, but I was also just super tired. Shout outs to Ted. Pal, I glued my glasses. You try breaking them, I fix them all myself. They hilariously split. Just fall <laughs> off again. They just shattered. <laughs> I uh -huh. cut my face up. But yeah, I know people are like I'm, mad at the streamies. I haven't seen any of the discourse. Was it mad at it was just it was early? Um, I think H three and Hassan said some stuff about the streamies. I know Hassan had a podcast titled like airing out the streamies, and I was like, Oh, what did they I don't mm. know I don't know what they did. And then um the H th three thing, I don't know specifically what H3 said about it, but their table was next to mine. And we're obviously friends with some of the people who work, who work there. And, uh, they had the whole team out, like just for them to not only lose their award, but similar to last year, it was like the award, the award happened in like a commercial. Oh day. yeah. I was so confused when yeah. that happened. I legitimately just thought it was like a commercial for the award coming up. Yeah, but they just they stuff you know a dozen of them into yeah because they're t I you know they're so busy doing these like weird bits that like there's no time to give the words but I'm like if people are coming to the show it, like I I don't know what again I don't know what H three said but um 
it's like a bummer that like you bring your whole team out and there's not even like a a moment for the award yeah. and and you lost the award it's you know what i mean not that different from watching it from home it's like very yeah. close it's like we got all dressed up we came out and it's like i guess it's like oh cool you know you can watch the show but i don't know weird old thing you know it's like all all due respect to the the parties involved. It's a fun, you know it's a fun night and out, it's but. a it's a fun night out and it's i was just tired um but i and so and i don't know what people's qualms were my issue was not related to the streamies it was related to the fact that i was alone <laughs> <laughs> um uh, it, plus ted sorry ted i'm making it seem like ted isn't a person but we didn't like pre-plan we just knew that like i ran into a mayor and i sure. knew we had to do a thing um he's fine i mean i don't, I don't <laughs> hate the guy yeah we can say it. this isn't being recorded right but yeah true true yeah, come on anyway Ted will kill him Ted will come on and we'll talk about it um but we became a Ooh. meme we do have some we have a couple we have some guest people gonna be very excited about. oh yeah true true come oh on. the thing worth noting is um illuminati on the thing is because the uh there's a clip uh that went viral But yeah, wow! I just that I don't get that at all. It's just Kai's face. Oh, yeah, just Kai <laughs> looking looking at us really weird. Did Kai win anything? It, say what? Did he win anything? Uh, yeah, I think Amp won or AMP. I don't know if it's AMP. Because uh, I mean, I remember when uh, Felix won streamer of the year yeah. the last time he got up and said like Kai's not should. Won. You know who I didn't expect to see there was XQC. <laughs> but he probably uh, just wanted in. Uh, yeah, I talked to him for a bit. He was he was actually quite nice to me. He might have been lost. <laughs> uh, but I got a... I sent this to somebody last night. I got a DM about this that was the funniest thing. It just unbelievable message that I received. Ooh, am I putting this person on blast? Oh, I'm not going to say their that name. name. If Okay, hopefully they don't get to this person. Hey there... I don't even know their name. No. Hey there, I'm a new subscriber of yours and I really enjoy your content. Your video restored my faith for the YouTube community. Haha. Ha. Anyway, can you please explain the video provided below? Comments are trying to say Kai Sanat was looking at you weird because some Illuminati business was going on. Do you mess with that? Jarvis, please don't disappoint me now. Yo, you fuck with the Illuminati? I was like, because this bit was cringy or because Kai was looking over his shoulder... And being confused because he was just behind the table. Do people is is Kai considered to be an Illuminati person? No, no. Was that I think he's they're saying Kai's the Illuminati detector. I see, yeah. And he doesn't approve. So Did you, so it must be the Illuminati. You know what I would do if I saw a, a number of people that may have been involved in the greatest, most powerful organization in the world that from a small room and collective controls world politics, uh -huh. I'd be like yeah so, <laughs> you look the same way as if my like i i paid too much for gas also if you everyone knows if you ask someone in the illuminati if they're in the illuminati <laughs> they have to tell you oh. because why if i'm so in the cough. illuminati would i yeah why am, if i'm in the illuminati would i be like yep you got me dude people conspiratorial people are like so uh the the brains are broken by like scooby-doo well, wait they have to get they put the eye on the dollar bill as yeah. a clue why are it, they giving you clues it's literally the thing uh that we talked about on fear and where it was just people uh, in tiktok comments being conspiracy like pills yeah just like have, it, it, sometimes stuff is like boring <laughs> sometimes yeah. stuff and you can still be like i mean interesting it's just yeah. I don't know, man. I think if I was in a secret society, it was probably to get the, you know, the health benefits or whatever you get out of doing <laughs> that, or just like the re the revenue, the raw, you know, right. high CPM on being. Yeah. I would probably, I'd probably keep that grift going. 
And I'd stop publishing hints. <laughs> I'd stop publishing stuff where, I like, can't if you stop giving clues, if you take the first letter of every tweet and you move them around and add in some and take some away. <laughs> Has, have they ever explained why they give so many clues? Is it a part of the creed? It's like they have to. The way that they can control society is by leaving little, the, like, uh, like, fucking. I hate that my brain doesn't work. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> little, little, little clues. Bread little crumbs. treats. Little oh, treats and clues. We're on the same page, man. I <laughs> I love, I love my brain just, just going to sleep. Did I tell you I mentioned like to my doctor about, because you kind of, when you get medical stuff, it inspires me to check. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mentioned to my doctor and um, finally got a GP and uh, I mentioned just like, how many hours of sleep do you generally get? And I'm like, I generally don't sleep more than like five hours a night, sometimes less. They're like, how many nights do you sleep? I'm like, I don't know, a couple nights a week, I don't sleep. And like, it was just like, it's really cool that you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> this is like not a good way to live. I'm like, I know, I know, but sometimes I'll sleep, you know, like 20 hours a day. Is that evens out, right? That's how that works? Yeah. I'm like, no, no. Not, not in the slightest. Is yeah. that how it works at all? I was like, you don't fucking know yeah. anything. What do you, you know? You quack. Um, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm gonna sleep for. A, I'm gonna spin a wheel. <laughs> See how much I sleep. Yeah. Shit. One hour. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, this sucks. Because we gotta make lemonade. Better play some Slay the Spire. <laughs> um, Drats. <laughs> Actually, I tell you what. Pokemon Go, filling the void of. I had to uninstall Slay the Spire. I'm currently seeking someone that will take my switch away. <laughs> it is. It just. It was good at a certain point in my life, but now yeah. it's it's only a negative influence. I, uh, Pokemon Go, basically, literally the exact opposite of that game. Yeah. Where it's only physical movement. Yeah. And going to other places, and you can't play it in your bed. And and the, okay. To well, I, I I hate to tell you that there is a surprisingly deep PvP scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm still learning about it, but uh, is there a level involvement? Because I'm, does I have level it doesn't yet? feel it doesn't. There's no level involvement, but it's about the Pokemon. Mm. Uh, but the thing is, I don't feel like it's high, super accessible, uh, at a high level, but it is at a low level because you just need certain Pokemon with certain moves, and to get certain moves, you need TMs, and sometimes you need like legacy moves, or like for example. Uh, community day this weekend, Charizard, if you evolve a Charmeleon to a Charizard, I can learn this move, Blast Burn. And the only way to get Blast Burn other than on a community day is to use like this very, very rare item called an Elite TM. So like there's so many things like that where it's like, oh, you needed this Pokemon. Uh, they got this move on this day. Oh it, my God. Yeah, where it's like, I don't like, or you can, I think if you play the PVP, you get more of those Elite TMs. So it's easier to do. Uh, so I still don't know how accessible it is. Should we uh, we do something for this whole thing this weekend? Yeah. I'm down to do something. I'm literally probably going to go to Santa Monica Pier and uh, catch Charmanders for three hours. Yeah, we can uh, get away from this old, the old ball and chain. Yeah. You know what I mean? See if I can get away for a little bit. Yeah. But the, give, give the dog a diazepam. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think BB's gonna be there i think the whole i think we got the whole game there's another spot in my car so Dude, i would love to take you? the whole game we have a, a birthday parties this weekend oh literally we keep we keep talking about that <laughs> on the bonus let's definitely watch the bad podcast of the week this was shared by one of our editors austin i have not watched it and i will also go through the the exclusive north korean rule, rules for basketball <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Introduced by uh, Ms. Mr. Un himself. I've already started sinking into my seat and it's not even the bonus. This is the kind of Sad Boys energy. I'm going to have my hood up for Sad Boys. Okay, Sports. yeah. Would that be cool? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you think I'm cool, man? All right, don't push it. <laughs> Hold on, man. I would really mean a lot if you said it. <laughs> okay, I will not do that. <laughs> That's it for Sad Boys today. <laughs> um, we're going to jump over to patreon.com slash Sad Boys pod. Nope. We're going to jump over to, don't cut this. Uh, we're going to jump over to <laughs> patreon.com slash sad boys. And uh, we're going to hang out. We might have BB come down and hang out with us. Maybe Dipper will be there. Uh, I might eat an Uncrustable. I uh, think I can confirm that. <laughs> yeah, well, will it happen on the, yeah. Okay, Teasing into happen. the future. It'll happen. Um, Thanks for listening, gang. It's always nice to do this. It's been a, been a hot minute since we did a solo bowler. And it'll never happen again. We're done.
next guest, Joe Rogan, or one of his little cronies that believes We're that- bringing on Jamie. <laughs> that would actually be fire. <laughs> Jamie's gonna pull that up. Jamie V. Jacob, who can pull it up faster? Who can pull it up, be set up side by side, like <laughs> setups. And then I, we asked for, for like a vaccine yeah. information. Can I have like something that's about MMA, but also like how the vaccine makes you gay? Yeah. <laughs> Quickly. Like, did, how did you find that? It's got cited sources. All right, um, much, much love, gang. We end every episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. We love you. And we're sorry. Boom. Boom. What was your, what was your original Pokemon Go name? It was oh so Oh my funny. God. Jarvis discovered an old username. Jarvis and Jordan both know an old name of Is mine. Is it the same one? It's not. Oh. No, he has a different one too. Oh. I <laughs> so. Gucci girl. Gucci girl. How you doing? How you moving girl? Moving girl. How's your day looking? That future girl. Future girl. Yeah, we on now. Take my money. Go away. Are you on it? Guys are rich for me.